Hi, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And in this tutorial, we want to show you how to create a special effect that's become very popular. We used to call it the old Brady Brunch grid, and now it's become more of sort of an imitation of Zoom, where you've got several people appearing on screen at the same time in a video collage, and they're interacting with each other, and sometimes even popping in and out of the video frame. Let me just move the playhead back to the beginning, and I'll show you just basically what we're trying to create. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, so as we go on, the characters will one by one appear stream. on screen. Merrily, 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 merrily life is but, but a dream. Row, 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 row your so let's show you in our two-part tutorial here how to create the initial effect of having these four on screen at the same time. And then we'll show you in part two how to make it even better, how to add some special effects to it. So here we are in our Premiere Elements project and we do have our four different video clips there in our project assets panel. Let's go ahead and drag the first one down to our timeline. And we can, of course, size and position this anywhere we'd like. In Premiere Elements is very simple. You just select the clip on your timeline and when you do and then click on the monitor you get these little corner handles that you can just drag like this to resize your picture and then drag actually on the picture itself to position it wherever you'd like. Now, I want this to be kind of precise so what I'm going to do is take this video clip and I'm going to open up the Applied Effects panel and in Motion I'm going to set it for a scale of 55% just typing right up there the precise number there. So there's my scale and I'll put her down in the lower left hand corner. I'm also going to apply onto her a special effect and that is the crop effect. So let's go over here to the effects panel, type in crop. We'll add that and then I'm just going to not take anything off the top or the bottom, but we're just going to trim the sides a little bit so that we're only getting her and not much else from the sides. So that's our essential effect and we'll just apply that crop effect to all four of these clips. So let's add these clips directly above that clip. So we'll take uh, clip number two and put it on track number two. If there's no track there, don't worry about it. Just drag it to an area right above the existing track and one will be automatically added for you there. And let's go ahead and put three down and four. So there's our four different objects. And then I'm going to apply that same crop and position to all four of them. And I'm going to do that by selecting the clip here on video track one, right clicking on it and selecting copy, and then select the other clips by just lassoing them, dragging right there to select them all, right clicking and selecting paste effects and adjustments. Now right now all of those clips are positioned, they're all stacked on top of each other, so we're only seeing the topmost clip. Let's deselect those by clicking off them on the timeline. I'm going to take the, the number four clip or the clip that's on the number four track, I'm just going to drag it to the upper right hand corner. We'll take the clip for number three, drag it and then the clip for our, our number two track, select it and drag it over to the middle here. Now we can of course apply a little more crop left and right if we want, any kind of customization we want, but there is basically the setup. Let's move these, let's bring him in just a little more here. Her, we'll put her a little closer to the corner there and take our guy here on number two and move him right in the middle. Now we want to sync up the song because we want each person to join as we get to each chorus of the song. So I'm going to widen the timeline out by just dragging right on the top of the timeline here. There it is. And then I'm going to toggle open all these tracks so we can see what's going on on each of the tracks. We'll actually be able to see the audio waveforms. That will be very helpful for us. Okay. Now, you, if you look at the audio waveform, you can almost tell where each verse of the song ends. So I'm just going to move the playhead there to kind of mark the area. And then we're going to zoom in by pressing the plus key on my keyboard. I'm going to move each clip over so that the second person begins singing right about the time the first person begins repeating or singing for the second time the song. 
want to line these up as close as I can so it sounds like they're singing in unison. That's pretty good. Likewise, I'm going to take the third one, move it over to where the second guy begins singing the second time through. Again, I can use that playhead's position to help me kind of line things up. There we go, not bad. And then the fourth track also over to where the song is sung for the fourth time and where they're all four on screen at the same time. Let's again use that playhead as my marker to align things. And that's pretty good. Now let's widen out our monitor again so we can see it. And we essentially have the effect. So I'm going to move the playhead back to the very beginning. So we'll start with this one girl singing and then one by one the others will join each time the song repeats. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So that's essentially the effect. So we, we have this, and this would probably be good enough. Let me just press the backslash key so I can see the whole movie at once. This is probably good enough to accomplish that kind of zoom effect or that Brady Bunch grid effect. But in part two, I want you to come back because I want to show you how to add some special effects to this and make it just a little more lively too. Part two of our video collage, our zoom effect here with Premiere Elements.